Welcome back. It's time for our good news story of the day. This 17-year-old from Long Island, New York, thought of an idea to help pediatric oncology patients while battling brain cancer himself. Welcome to the show, Jordan Farouche. Jordan, good to have you with us. Thanks for coming Hi. on. So, so, so tell us all about the J-Zip. So when I was diagnosed with cancer in October of 2019, I was told I would need a Mediport. And a Mediport is a place in your chest that connects to your heart to make treatments so you don't have to put an IV into your arm. So uh, my mom and my grandma had started making me shirts out of my favorite T-shirts with zippers to allow access so I didn't have to wear a cap and a gown because as a teenager, I was very uncomfortable doing that. So here's an example of one of one of my favorite jazes. Oh because wow! Hero. So the zipper will open up, and your port will be able to be fully accessed, clean. Your doctor can check it whenever, and you can also just close it a little bit if you don't want it fully open and your chest exposed. So. And the zippers are kind of hidden in there. You, I mean, they're really, they really yeah, just like I, blend in. I try it. We try and pick shirts that it goes with the design. It's like. Here's another uh, another shirt that goes very well with the oh, design. Really? When did you realize there was a need for something like this? When I was in clinic, uh, since I'm 17, I was still with little kids around me. And I realized that these kids are all tripping on their caps and gowns. And you could see that they're very uncomfortable, especially even when I saw the girls my age who are also wearing caps and gowns. It's like, I mean, gowns. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that they were uncomfortable. and. They were asking me where I got the shirts, and I was like, oh, my grandma sewed them. So then we started making them. It was just uh, what drove me. And focusing on the positives and taking one one step at a time, it, it really distracted me from my own treatment, but it also helped, made me help others. How many Truth. shirts have you made? Over 3,000 shirts at this time. Wow. Mm. Good so cool. for you. And you are a cancer survivor. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your battle with the disease. So I was diagnosed in October of 2019, and I had a rare form of brain cancer, which I had six rounds of chemotherapy and then followed by six weeks of radiation. But now I'm over a year in remission. I'm just on medications. My hair is slowly coming back. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's interesting. Um, so many kids that are receiving cancer treatment, people give them candy and teddy bears and stuff that they can't eat and they don't really have use for. What are some of your words of encouragement to children dealing with this? And also, what are great things to give children that are, that are battling cancer? Um, my words of encouragement are, if you have a bad day, remember there's always tomorrow and be grateful for each day. And if I were to give a gift to someone who's battling cancer, I would show them love. Mm. I would give them blankets. Go see them yeah. is mainly the main thing to do. I know with COVID it's difficult, but FaceTime, keep them busy. Um, board games, uh, video games, always just keeping someone in a positive mood always is something I would really focus on. Well, it is great to hear you're in remission. Congratulations on that battle being won. And thank you so much for coming on to share your story. Great to meet you. Continue success with the J-Zip. Yes. And we'll be right back.